Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful Saturday day here in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. Just a quick buy about me. I'm a professional makeup artist. I've been working for Lancome, Estee Lauder, Clinique, uh, Christian Dior, um, many other brands like Bobbi Brown as a counter manager. Um, I used to work in Toronto as well. Um, so I have a lot of experience in makeup and skincare, which I want to share with you. Now this video is about not being gay. That's what I said, not being gay. So I have these sunglasses on because I don't want to be gay. Right. I actually do want to be gay. It's okay to be gay. So I'm actually going to take the sunglasses off and now you can see my beautiful blue eyes. And you know what? I want everybody who's watching this channel to say to themselves, I love you, I'm gay. Whether you're in the closet, you need to come flying out of that closet, girl, because you know what? Time's a wasting. You may be here today and gone tomorrow. So what I thought I would do is actually pick up a mirror. Actually, I have to put on my most fabulous gay sunglasses first, just because I think they're super cool. These are my Gucci pink glasses. And my other ones were my Montclair glasses. And if you're wondering what I'm doing with my hair right now, I can do anything that I want to with my hair. I'm gay. I don't care if it's sticking up like this. I'm actually doing a moisture treatment in it. I do moisture masks. I do clay masks. I exfoliate my face. That's what I do. So you know what? It's very, very important. I have lip gloss on right now from MAC Cosmetics. And how amazing is that? That you know what? You're a boy or a man or a woman. And you know, it's all about gay rights. So when I said on the channel this morning that you know, it's not right to be gay, I was lying. It's totally okay to be gay. It's okay to be gay. And yes, I had all my sparkle and my jewels on and everything today and my microcores watch. You know, it's okay. You can have your microcores purse. You can have your Gucci glasses. You can have whatever you want. You can wear Birkenstocks. You can wear them with socks, but I really don't recommend it. Um, you can also wear anything that you want from jeans to shorts to cutoffs to midriffs to, you know, boob tops to whatever you feel is going to enhance your image and make you feel special. It's all about the love, it's all about the festivities, it's all about making sure that as a gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, the list goes on and on, um, and whoever you identify with, it's so important that you love yourself. Let me repeat, it is so important that you love yourself. I'm gonna say it for a third time. For all the gay men out there with the stereotypical, you know, male ideologies about what gay men are supposed to look like. We're either supposed to be twinks, we're either supposed to be bears, we're either supposed to be, um, besides twinks and bears and muscular and sexy and no hair and completely shaven or with a beard or with bushy eyebrows or with no eyebrows or looking like a dry queen or not looking like a dry queen. It doesn't matter. We are all the same person inside and out. And that is what's so important about my channel is that I care about gay rights. I was on a float one time in Toronto um, it was for the body shop and I was dressed up as a woman in a hot pink uh, fedora and everything like that. And it was pretty cool. So I'm going to start participating here in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. It is actually a real city. So you can Google it on your maps for anybody living in the United States or abroad. Um, it's very small. Um, for me, my bio is I came from a very small town where, you know, it wasn't okay to hold hands. It wasn't okay to, you know, kiss in public. It wasn't okay to give hugs to a man. You know what, that has all changed now. We've moved into the 20th, first century. You know, we have millennials, we have Generation X, Y, Z. People are coming out of the closet like you wouldn't believe. 
In my high school, there was like 10 people that were gay and lesbian, which I never even knew about. When I moved to Toronto, I had all these preconceptions of what being gay was, what I was supposed to dress like, what I was supposed to wear, how tight my pants were supposed to be, what size my waist size was supposed to be. Everything from cologne to um, makeup to skincare. And you know, it's so important that everybody on this channel realizes that it's okay to be gay. And when I say gay, I say that as a universal term. Um, universal as in transgender, pansexual, spirit sexual, and the list goes on and on, lesbian, etc., bisexual. So if you're a married man, because there's lots of married men out there, come flying out of that closet. You know what, you've been in there too long, you've been in the relationship too long, you're not happy, get out, get out, get out, get out. So what I want everybody to do right now is pick up a mirror. I have a mirror right here. And I want you to say, I don't know if anybody remembers this from Romper Room, but I want you to say to yourself, do you remember Romper Room? Actually, it was a very good show. Um, this woman, after she was teaching her kids, would always look in the mirror and say, mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the brightest of them all? Or maybe that was somebody else. I'm, I'm, I'm confused about that. Anyways, she would look in the mirror and she would say people's names like, you know, Michael and James and Jennifer and Jessica and, you know, Robert. She never said my name. She never said Craig. She never said Colby. She never said Caden. She never said Keevan. She never said Caleb. You know, and that's how times have changed. We've changed our names, we changed our hair color, and you can have any hair color that you want, girl. You can have any hair color that you want. You can put pink eyeshadow on, you can put blue eyeshadow on. You, you are the one that determines what you wanna do, what you wanna wear, and where you wanna go in life. That is a fact, and that is a fact that everybody needs to learn. So we're looking in the mirror and we're gonna put our hand on the left side and we're gonna say, today, I will choose to have something good happen to me. I love myself. I love who I am. I am responsible for my own actions. I may not be perfect, but I am doing the best that I can. I love who I am, even though I may have flaws, but those flaws is what makes me special. Flaws will always make people special. It's not about the look. It's not about how pretty you are. It's not about the sexy body. Also, I would really like to have a sexy body. I need to go back to the gym really bad. It's not about the sexy body. It's about what's inside. And you know what? When I came out, my mother was very, very supportive. And you know, I know a lot of people out there, um, their parents weren't supportive. So what I want to tell you is that she told me, you know what, Craig, you're still my little boy. I will always love you, no matter what. And just on a side note, I'm adopted as well. So anyone viewing this that's adopted and feels that, you know, they don't belong or they don't fit in, you know what, sometimes it's okay not to fit in. Because for me, with my personality, I don't always fit in. I'm a unique person. And you can say that into the mirror too. I am a unique person. I am unique, I am different. I will be challenged and faced with obstacles in life and I will do my best to overcome them. I have passion, I have heart, I have love and that's what anybody needs in this world right now. So I leave you with this message. Be grateful for who you are. Always accept yourself for who you are. Work on your changes that you need to make. And especially, don't be too hard on yourself. Thank you for watching. Oh, and I will catch you later in my next video in about five minutes.